Understanding nesting within Final Cut Pro allows you to create all sorts of cool effects. One practical effect is to create a light streak through an object or title. The first step is to create the highlight. Click on the Generators menu in the bottom right corner of the Viewer window. Choose Render and then Highlight. In the upper left corner of the Viewer window, assign a duration value for the highlight. In this case, set the duration to 2 seconds. To animate the highlight, click on the Controls tab at the top of the Viewer window. Now, you'll notice if you adjust the controls, you can't see what they're doing. To fix this, drag the Controls tab into the Well area of the Timeline window. Then click back onto the Video tab within the Viewer window so you can see the highlight. Now click back onto the Timeline window. Use the keyboard shortcut Command equals to expand the area between these in and out points so you can animate the highlight. You can slide the keyframe area closer to your controls by using this slide bar at the bottom of the timeline window. Make sure the playhead indicator is parked at the end point for the highlight clip. Go ahead and adjust the width and softness for the highlight. You can also adjust the highlight color. Press the Insert Keyframe button for the center position of the highlight. This creates a keyframe. Then press this plus sign. Drag within the viewer window to reposition the highlight off to the left side of the screen. Now move the playhead indicator to the out point of the clip. Press the plus sign again, and then drag the highlight off to the right side of the screen. OK, after you've built the animation for the highlight, drag a copy of it from the viewer window into the browser window for safekeeping. Double click on a graphic or title to load its contents into the viewer window. Then edit the graphic to the timeline. Make an exact copy of your graphic on top of itself by holding down the Option plus Shift keys while you drag upwards to the track above. Then edit the highlight clip onto Video Track 3. Right click on the highlight clip and choose Composite Mode Screen. This allows the highlight to interact with the layer below it. Highlight the top two clips and then nest them together using the keyboard shortcut Option plus C. Give the nested clip a name. Now we need to take this nested layer and composite it into itself. To do this, right click on the nested clip and choose Composite Mode Travel Mat Alpha. This will place the nested clip inside the graphic below. That's it. Go ahead and watch the final composite. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro training course, visit GeniusDV.com.